Hi everyone and welcome to your October energy reading. I'm very excited today if you can hear it in my voice because this is the day that I break out all of my Halloween decks or anything close and relating to Halloween, okay? So um, we're going to actually be doing what I found from my zombie tarot deck. Uh, booklet. It's called the eyeball spread. All right. So it's getting your eyes on the the month. Okay. So we're going to look at things week by week. All right. And we're going to be doing tarot here. I'm going to be pulling some Oracle at the end as we look into the possibilities for the following month. All right, I'm very excited about this. Like I said, I always love to get right into Halloween. Um, it's probably, Halloween and Christmas are my favorites, but I have a ton of these decks, so, so excited to get to use them. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. Let me get you to your cards to pick a pile. Okay, here we have our three piles to choose from. All right, we have pile one, we have pile two, we have pile three. Here we have a red aura cluster quartz, a green aura cluster quartz, and a yellowish orange aura cluster quartz. So whatever pile number, whatever card face, or whatever crystal calls to you, go to that pile, use your intuition. If you are called to watch all of them, no problem, do that. If you are called to watch maybe a couple, you can do that too. Make your choice and I will see you in your reading. Hi to those of you who chose pile one, this card or this red cluster, red aura cluster quartz. I'm just going to set this to the side. Okay. And I'm just going to set this over as well. I'm going to flip it at the end. It may tie into your reading. It could just be an additional message. Okay. For you or prediction. So let's just put that there off to the side. You can still see it. And I'm going to get right into, actually, I may just move that up where you won't be able to see all of it, but, um, cause I kind of need as much room as I can get here. So pile one, we're doing the eyeball spread. We want to get our eyeballs on to October. Okay. So, and I told you I'm using my Halloween decks, which is awesome. Now, even if you're not watching this in the month of October, that's okay. These messages are timeless. It means you were brought to it, drawn to it, stumbled upon it because there's something in here for you to hear. Okay. So you just take it for the month that is coming up, right? You can think of it that way. So if you're watching this mid-October, then it would be for November. If you're watching it in November, it could be for December, right? Um, so let's get right into this. First card out that we want to get is a card representing the previous month. So what was September for you? Let's just kind of get an overall energy of what of what September was kind of maybe bringing in and around you. We have the devil. Oh my heavens, if that's not so funny. I think um, in a reading somewhere in September, I had talked about smoking and isn't that a cigarette machine, right? Okay, that devil energy, right? It serves a purpose. So we, 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 we do it because it serves a purpose. So maybe there's been something. I'm going to pull clarifiers for all of these tarot cards as well, just so you know. Um, but I almost want to say here, pile one, this is like you maybe have really or or started to think about it or started working on something that you have been tied to, bound to in any area of your life that serves a purpose, but not a good purpose in your life, okay? Now let's get a card to represent, um, whoops, too many come out there. Let's get a card to represent the current month, October, kind of an overview, right? an overall energy card. And just because this may not resonate with you, don't worry, pile one. There could be other messages in here that resonate with you. So you know what? Don't give up. <laughs> don't click off. There's probably something else in here for you to hear if you chose this pile. But here we go. Maybe it is you know what? Maybe it didn't start for you in September, but it is something you need to do. But look at this. We have the sun. 
So while you were trying to let go of something negative or need it or already did let go of something negative back here, what they're basically saying is the following month, you're going to start seeing it's brighter days, right? It's, look, the sun's rising again. It's like you... I feel like you're coming out of the darkness into the light, right? But let's get some tarot to clarify these. So let's clarify that devil card. See if we can get a little more about it. The nine of pumpkins. Oh, how interesting for that. Is there something that you were tied to or a person, okay, possibly a person or an energy, a bad habit that you were tied to? I feel it's going to be one of two things, okay, because I've got two things coming in. First, were you tied to something, the bad habit, the bad energy, whatever it is that was holding you back? I'm going back to the cigarettes. It was costing you a lot of money, maybe. A bad habit that was, I mean, look, you could be going to bingo every night of the week. That could be costing you a lot of money. But I feel like there was something that was costing a lot of money for you. And it was a bad habit, meaning you don't need it to survive. <laughs> it was one of those things that, you know what, maybe it's something you should do every once in a while, but you don't or not at all. It'll be different for everyone. But the other thing is that I'm seeing here too, if it was a person, it was a person who was holding you back from your abundance. Okay. And again, if you're just hearing this now and, and this wasn't the energy for you in the month, this might be a message. Just let's take a look back because there is something that's holding you back, okay? But for a lot of you, I feel you're going to resonate with this because it's definitely something that's crossed your mind. You need to let go of that in order to gain abundance in your life, whether that's in job, career, in family, in money, um, just in things, abundance in itself. Maybe that person was kind of draining you when it came to that. But that is kind of the energy from the month before, because you're meant to be successful and have what it is that you want here and to do it on your own. So maybe for some of you also, you were feeling or are feeling that, you know, you had, you had hitched your wagon to the wrong star. You should have hitched it to yourself. Okay. And so with the sun here for this month, I want to say this is kind of an overall um, energy of the current month where you know what, you're going to unhook your wagon from that star and you're going to be hitching it to I feel yourself really, because you're the one who's going to be able to pull this off the six of imps. Now what are those little imps wands? This is success. It is imps, and they look like little devils, but here's the thing. It is success. In the tarot, the six of wands is, is winning. It is celebrating after you defeat something. I feel like this is what you're defeating back here, and now you're going to be celebrating. Look, there's torches here. Again, yellow, fiery sun. I feel like you have conquered these little devils, this devil energy, okay? And this is going to be the beginning of you starting to shine. All right, let's go in to a card, um, or a few cards actually, because again, I'll do a card and then we'll do a clarifier for each week. And I'm going to lay them all out first and then I'll flip them. Or we'll let it, oh no, too many. I don't, I just want one, please. Just one. Okay, pile one. I'm liking this. Yeah, this is defeating the little imps. Okay, so there we have week one. Let's get a card for week two. It takes a little while, I know. Sometimes I shuffle, shuffle off and, and uh, do the piles off screen, and sometimes I like to do them on. So you know what? Just bear with me. Two, week three. Whoa, 
too many. We'll take that one because it just kept wanting to stay out. And week four. Daisy, I keep always wanting to, I'm so used to flipping them over. Okay, so here we go. Let's look at week one. We have strength. Okay, so what I want to say here, I'm going to get a, a, a clarifier with it too, but it's almost like week one, I feel you're, you're coming out of this, right? You're moving into, oh, I just feel like a weight's been lifted for me. I feel free, right? I'm not dragging around anything anymore, like this big heavy chain that's kept me attached to this. I feel so light. But then all of a sudden, that buoyancy happens. You're feeling light. You're feeling clear. And then you're unsure what to do. And this happens, right? And this is why we tend to fall back to these things, because once you You've let go of it. Some people, look, can just charge ahead, no problem. Other people need a little help. And this is spirit saying, you know what? We're here to help you. We're here to give you the strength. Let's see if we can get a little more on that. Because basically, they want you to have the strength in this first week to not fall back, to not fall back and victim to it again, okay? Right. Oh, I love this message. It's like you walked away from this. You need to keep walking. You need to have the strength to keep walking away from all these little ghosts or goblins. We can call them the little imps that are keeping you tethered to this devil energy. All right. So I like that. The first week, going to be difficult and that it may go on for weeks but we'll <laughs> for all intents and purposes here we have to understand that timing our timing and spirits timing tend to be two different things okay and for the most part um we want to say that first week this could last two weeks for you okay D don't fret if it if it does all right that's what i want to say just don't be upset because you have to remember this is just energy and it's kind of laying out a little plan or blueprint for you it's up to you whether or not you choose to follow right i always hope you choose to follow but you know I think you do, because if not, you wouldn't be here, pile one, right? But here we go. They want you to have the strength to keep walking. Don't don't turn back, okay? Just don't turn back. Let's go to week two, the Hierophant. If you keep walking, I want to say, what I feel is like this is where you start to learn, okay? This, because I think of the Hierophant as a teacher, all right. And I feel like you're the student here. OK, um, he's the one with the authority and he's someone maybe this is someone you even go to for help to help you through this. OK, someone that you look up to that you respect. OK, you can you can call it that as well. But week two, I feel, is where you may start to learn the lesson or lessons of all of this, where you may start to see the truth behind whatever this was that was keeping you held back. And I also feel, I'm going to get a tarot here too, though, that this is where you start to learn more about what it is as you keep moving forward that you need to do. And we have the seven of bats. Yeah, this is, this is no time. <laughs> this is no time to run away. You keep walking away, but you don't run away and just bury it, I want to say. You don't run away and bury it and, and, and be like, you know what, that happened. I'm just going to forget about it. We can't bury things that need healing. Okay, if we were doing something or something was happening here that... Um, you know, there was a reason it was serving a purpose in our life and now it's no longer there and you're trying to, to keep, you know, just keep going, just keep going. Like, um, what's a little fish? Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. We're going to come to a place sometimes where 
we want to stop swimming and we just want to run away in the other direction, bury it, try to forget it. But we know, I think, um, just from watching others and from, you know, watching television in itself, all the self-help, this and that, or videos, whatever it is, you can't bury that stuff, okay? So that might be a lesson for you. You can't bury it. And maybe that is the lesson that you're going to learn. I feel that there's still others. I feel there's in this second week that, you know, you may have some light ball moments to help you keep this strength and to help you keep swimming. All right. To help you keep moving on. But uh, with this tarot here, I really feel that it's saying, you know what, you can't run away like a thief in the night. You just you can't do it. You've got to you know, you've got to pay the piper, face the music, whatever it is. Let's get into week three. Oh, the Hierophant again. Okay. All right. Let's see what this has to say. <laughs> oh, pile one. I feel like there are some lessons here for you to learn. Or is this where you finally start finding your peace? Do you take up yoga? Maybe for some of you, is it where you start meditating, praying, um, you know, whether it's spiritual or religious? What is it that you're doing here? Because I'm really feeling like maybe you, do you start helping other people? I don't know. I, I, Maybe, maybe you start sharing with some, okay, we'll take this card. It came out. You start sharing with someone else and, you know, you help them. But I still feel, though, that you're in learning lesson mode here, okay? So that week two and three, but maybe you're coming to peace. Maybe you're coming to terms with some of the lessons that you're learning. And it fires you up here with the Queen of Bats or the Queen of Swords. Rather, sorry, I thought it was wands. Yeah, you, you start learning the lessons. You come to terms. You get clarity about all of this and you start to come to terms with, ah, okay, now I understand why this all happened, why this had to happen in my life. It was not maybe pleasant, or if nothing else, it, it drained me in some way, you know, but I'm learning now with clarity as I'm getting the little light bulbs, the little tidbits here and there, ah, you know what? I'm able to find peace again within myself. And maybe you're doing this with other people too. And that's what I said with the Hierophant. Maybe you are going. Maybe this isn't you. Maybe you're one of the students here, just like here, right? Where you are still learning. Ooh, I like this message for you. Um, whenever we're working on double energy, though, you know, it's always a tough one, pile one, but you can do this, okay? Let's get to the next card. We have two of pentacles. Yes, when life gets chaotic, find a way to get grounded and balanced. Well, that's what this is right here. Uh, I need to keep moving these down so I have enough room. Yeah, this right here is basically, you know what? You need to keep the balance. And maybe that's something you're learning as well here in week four is by understanding that you need to keep walking, you need to keep swimming, you can't run away and hide from this, you need to deal with it, you start getting the clarity that's gonna hopefully by week four or, you know, as I said, as this works for you, you could spend two weeks here, here and here. But the point is, this is the next step. Like this is each step, right? And you will find the balance. It's going to bring the peace, the harmony, all of this Zen balance into your life, which I don't feel you had when you were tied to whatever this was. So let's get a tarot here with this one as well. The three of bats, the three of swords. Yeah, I feel that you aren't going to be feeling attacked or heartbroken or in pain anymore because, or the chaos, right? Because you're going to have learned ways to start getting balanced in yourself, to start 
feeling balance, to start feeling peace, harmony. I even want to say equality for some reason, so that just may mean something to someone. But there are your four weeks. Now, last but not least, let's get a couple of cards here, okay, for the following month. So what are the possibilities, maybe, some things that could be coming up for November? All right, and this is just a little snapshot. Now, this here is from Wisdom of the Familiars deck, okay? The same lady who has created the Everyday Witch Tarot has done this deck. So, I just want to see here, and I'm going to, because it's a familiar, I want to read the short excerpt from the book, okay? So, bear with me on that. Water for Koi. Okay, let's see what that has to say. We have the waters. Okay, here we are, Koi. The card is always a happy one to draw. It indicates that good things are coming your way. Although there is no telling exactly what form those things will take, perhaps you will get an unexpected windfall or a gift you don't expect. Perhaps you will simply have one of those days where all the pieces fall into place. I feel like that happens like in here, right? Either way, be sure to appreciate whatever positive experience the Koi send you, and if you can, share them with others. Another message is good luck and prosperity are as much a product of attitude as they are of chance. Make sure that you are open to the possibilities that might arise and create as many opportunities as you can for luck to flow in your direction. Embrace beauty and joy and see what happens. Whoa, I love that. I love that. And you know, whenever you go, I know here we have the Mandarin restaurants, they're big Chinese buffets. And yeah, I mean, I know um, um, in the Chinese culture that koi are considered lucky and prosperous, right? So there's always koi, like live koi ponds in those buffet restaurants. So that's interesting. But you know what? We're going to get another card here too, just to see. I, I don't know if I mentioned, I have, you know, quite a few um, decks here. So I want to use them all. This is the witch, the earthy weaver, the earthly weaver of the worlds. What I want to say about this card is that we can think of the witch, this card here, the same as the magician in the, in the tarot or the high priestess, where... Your knowledge comes from within, okay? You have the fire, the water, the um, earth, and the air energy all within you, okay? You have all of those things that you are going to need to make this happen. Think of it like magic. We love to think of witches and magic, and especially around this time of year, right? Um, forget the bad rap that witches get, because it just simply isn't true. Look, there's good people um, in many different areas, and there's bad people in many different areas. So, you know, we're, we're with Glenda the Good Witch here, okay? And this is about you, creating and weaving into your world, into your being, what it is that you need, okay? And you've got coy luck here behind you, all right? So I love that. Now, one last thing. I said I was going to flip this over to see if it tied in. Transformation, number 39, um, which I also say is a 12 or a 3, if those numbers mean anything to you. Like a thousand storms held in hands soft against the winds, there is change arising from deep within. So there you are, pile one. Those are your messages for the month of October. Kind of a snapshot here of... um and, and the previous month and the following month, right? So this is where you're going to maybe really start to, to realize the fortune of, of how this has moved to this and how it's going to work through the month of October into November, okay? And this is just letting you know it's time for transformation. It's time to make the change. 
Thank you, Pile One. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you are one of the regular watchers, thank you for your support and being here. If you all haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, okay? And I will see you in another pile or in another reading. Hi to those of you who chose Pile 2. This card, which I'm going to flip over at the end, we'll see if it goes with the rest of the reading or if it's a message all on its own or prediction, okay? So let's just send, if you chose this beautiful green aura quartz cluster, I'm going to put that over there. But let's get right into your reading pile too. Remember, if you don't see this in the month of October, that is okay because these are timeless messages. If you see it for in November, then it would be for December, right? Just go to the month ahead of whatever month it is, pardon me, that you're seeing it in, okay? Now, we're doing the eyeball spread, meaning, and I got this out of my zombies tarot deck, so this is like getting our eyes on the month, the month ahead, but we want to take one last glance here, okay, at the previous month. So September for you, what was, what was the energy in and around there? Two of Wands. Ooh, making plans. Do you like this? Which way are you going? You've got a big zombie here that wants to chase you. Which route, which path are you going to take? What do you have for a plan? So, is that what was going on last month for you? You were trying to figure out which way to go? What do I do? How do I do it? Do I walk with purpose or do I run scared? I don't know. Okay, we're going to pull tarot with that. But I also want to get here from my zombie deck um, an overall energy for October. Okay? Because sometimes things carry over, right? I always say, I'm going to be breaking this down by week as well, all four weeks. And then we'll even be looking at, you know, a possibility of what might happen in November. Um, but this all ties together. And not everything gets tied up pretty in a bow each month. Okay, that's why I say these messages are timeless. And they may take as long as they need to take in order for you to go through what it is that you need to go through in the good or the bad, right? Justice. Oh, okay. So we have two of wands for past and justice. Let me get. So for this month, is this where you are coming into like. Oh, coming off the month before, I just want to say, is this where you like are realizing, look, the actions that I took back here are having consequences. And again, whether that be the good or the bad, all right? Um, and bad just means maybe it wasn't a wise decision, okay? Maybe you should have ran both ways. Maybe you should have walked with purpose both ways, right? Like, hmm, let me get some tarot here and see. Because with the justice card, that's kind of what it is, right? It's it's realizing, okay, my my actions, my current, past, and future actions all have consequences. What I need to do is make decisions that are going to be based on, with justice here, fairness, equality, balance, what's good for me, what's good for everyone involved in this situation. So... Yeah, let's get tarot, though. Let's get some more tarot and figure this out. The Fool. Oh, you know what? With the Fool here, maybe some of you were trying to make a decision, a plan, okay, to have a new beginning. And what I mentioned in pile one was you can't run and hide, so maybe for some of you, some of you, when it came to this, you ran and you're trying to hide it out. Um, where others of you are walking straight into that new beginning. That And this isn't any area of your life, okay? And new beginning could be a new way you do something around the house, all right? A new way you, a new route you take to work when you're driving. You know, it can be as simple as that or it can be so much more. But I feel like that was the energy. And this new beginning, I feel, I almost want to say, it's happening. It's just going to, you know, when we're looking at current time right now, 
you want to make the best decision. Did you make the best decision? Here's the thing, though. If you took the scared path where you're trying to run and hide from it, you can change the trajectory of that. You can, you can get back over. You can come right back and start going the other way because we have free will here. We can choose whether we go down the good path or the, or the bad path, the right path or the wrong path. You know, we make the, the best decision or the poor decision. We always have a choice. And I feel here that it's almost like um, October is your, you know, like a makeup, like a makeup test, a makeup exam. Um, it's your makeup. You can, you can change, you can change the direction. I want to say that you can change the direction. Okay, let me get a tarot for here. The Five of Pumpkins. Okay. Yeah. I, like I said, I felt like some of you may have been running scared here. And that's that feeling of lack, of not be, of not being worthy, of where am I going to go? What am I going to do? How am I going to do it? Well, here's the thing. You ran scared, I want to say. And, and this may not be for everyone specifically. Um whatever you ran, whether it was scared or not, for whatever reason, you ran to hide in some way, it was because you didn't feel like you were worthy of the new start. You didn't feel like you were worthy of peace and happiness and balance and equality here. But I feel coming back to this, this, this month, October is a reset for you. It's like a retrograde. You get to go back and re-choose the path that you took, okay? So I'm going to leave that right there. Let's get into each week and see if we can't get a little more information here, okay? So off we go. Week one. And like I said, this doesn't mean this is all going to happen in that week. It could take you two weeks, three weeks to move through this particular stage. The important thing is, pile two, is that you're moving through it, okay? So don't put a time limit on yourself. And some of you may work through it that quickly. The sun, oh. I almost feel that once you go back, right, and make the decision that this is your redo, your revamp, your uh, reset, that the sun's going to start shining. You're going to be like, okay, whew, because everything here feels like it was in the cover of darkness, right? But look, dark, but there's sun in that background, and I feel like it's, you're going to feel like, whew. I feel like I've just dodged a bullet. I've just lifted a burden here by going this way. When you came back and started heading the other way, you're starting to see the potential, the brightness, the possibility, the fairness, the equality, the balance that can happen. And I didn't do this for pile one. I put all the cards down first. You know what? Each pile to each their own. Maybe this is the way I needed to do it for you. The five of imps. Yeah, I feel like this is you realizing that you don't need to involve yourself in little petty battles, little petty arguments, little petty fights, little silly. I always used to call this card, and I still do, the ant at the picnic, the bee in your soda. You just don't need to deal with the annoyances anymore. And maybe that is what you were running away from. But just without a plan, right? You were just running without the plan because you, you weren't real sure of how to do it. You knew you needed to get away from this energy, that you needed a new start. But because you weren't maybe necessarily sure what it was that you needed to do, and you were feeling like maybe even you didn't deserve it, or how do I do it? I feel like this month of October is giving you that reset and this is where you start to see, ah, this is how I move past this. This is, it's going to shine a light possibly on the people or the situations or events in your life that are like this all the time. And it's really going to focus and put a spotlight on them. And you're going to be like, why am I dealing, you know, well, why I'm not dealing with it anymore. 
but how do I keep myself from going back to it? Maybe what you're going to really start to work on this first week, right? You're going to let the sun shine on it and on yourself. It's like you're shining a spotlight on what it is that you need to do to keep yourself from going back into that energy, I want to say. Let's look at week two. What does week two bring for you, pile two? The Three of Cups. Oh, maybe some new friends, maybe a new friend group or a new social group, possibly just celebration in general, because you feel like when you're done with this stage, okay, and you're moving on to this stage or week two, we'll call it, you know what? You're going to start celebrating. You're going to start, like I said, just feeling free and happy and joyful and maybe you do have some new people come into your life or maybe they're the old people that were some of the old I want to call it friends or family members or whoever that wanted you out of whatever this situation was right they wanted you out of it because they they know that you need fairness and balance and good things in your life okay this card can also talk about divorce or separation, right? Because that has to do with law usually. And just getting yourself on the right path, right? Like getting yourself on the straight and narrow. And they're like, you did it. Oh, and they were supportive of you. Not every friend is going to be this, right? So maybe these are some of the, the women or men, it doesn't matter, um, friends, family members, colleagues that were supportive to you. And you guys are finally like, you did it. You know, like, keep going. But let's get a tarot here. Yeah, they're like, you finally got away from, oh my gosh, the big bad wolf. Okay, you finally got away from the big bad wolf. You finally chose a different path. You chose the path up here to the castle, to the happiness, not the path that leads down here, I want to say, in, in, in the darkness, right? Which was this way here, running in fear. And maybe you had reason to run in fear pile too. I, I'm not um, diminishing that at all. There may have been a reason you did and didn't have a plan, okay? I felt that they wanted me to say that. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're coming out of the darkness into the light again with the moon. Or like the sun, the moon is now illuminating. Okay? The moon is now illuminating the big bad wolf here for you. Because... Oh, you're now being shown the big bad wolf, right? Think werewolf, right? Full moon werewolf. Oh, so maybe that's that was illuminated. And now that you know and you understand and you realize, whew, again, I dodged a bullet here. Whew, yeah, because he was really a big bad werewolf, right? Or her or whoever, okay? Again, a person in your life. Now, let's go into week three. Let's see here what we have for week three, or again, the third stage. The Five of Swords. Oh, okay. I'm going to get another clarifier with that right there because I want to understand why we're getting this Five of Swords. Because the Five of Swords is kind of the opposite of all this. It's kind of like a little bit of chaos happening here. And what? why is that happening? Did one flip in here today? No, nope, maybe not. Okay. Yeah, let's see why. Ah. Uh, okay. All right. Maybe it's going to feel a little chaotic here in week three because a tower moment needs to come in. Now, I'm going to talk about tower moments because you can handle them in one of two ways, okay? But let's just take a good look at this. Something's going to feel a little bit chaotic. See how the knives are just, I think there's another name for them. I just can't think of what it is right now. But look, it's like there's like a strange smoke coming up out of the cauldron. It's like one woman has a, one witch has the, her hands over her face. The other one's just looking like, what the heck's going on? And this one's like, shit, you know, 
<laughs> there's flying, there's flying um, uh, knives everywhere, right? And why? Because everything was going so good. Think of this as a heads up. There's a tower. There's something else that needs to die off here, okay? I love the way this was progressing, but I have to be honest when the cards come out. But there's there can be a positive to this. So there's something that maybe you haven't brought out to the surface yet, okay? You've been like, all right, um, I've freed myself from this. I've, you know, I know who the big bad wolf is or they, whatever, who they might be, because it may be more than one person. I'm happy, I'm celebrating, but there's still work to do. And I feel like that's where it's back here. You kind of run. I said it reminded me of pile one where you try to run away or, i.e., bury, you know, what it is you don't want to deal with thinking, well, I've made it this far. I can just bury the rest. And this is spirit saying, no, you can't. You need whatever's coming up out of this cauldron. You need to allow it to come up and you need to work on it. Now, that's why I say there's two different kinds of tower moments, because one is you can control the tower. I talked about when I went to um, I did a big road trip to Las Vegas back in the spring and I went to the Grand Canyon and did a UTV and, you know, those dune buggy type things and drove down into the South Rim Grand Canyon and it was absolutely beautiful. But as we were doing it, I noticed the trees were all like, like it looked like they had been burned or torched, right? And I'm like, but not totally black. And I said to the guides or whatever, why, why are the trees all like that? Because... There are a lot of forest fires due to lightning strikes in that area. And it's so dry there that it the, they keep the underbrush burnt away. And it helps to reduce and minimize the forest fires, or at least from them maybe spreading or being so big. I was like, that is the most interesting thing that I've ever heard in my life. Okay, awesome. That's when I equated it to the tower moment. You can do a controlled burn. So in other words, you can realize what this is rising up from down deep in the pot yourself and you deal with it or you try to push it down. You put a lid on it and the tower moment's going to happen anyway, but then it's going to be chaos and usually it doesn't feel good. Okay, so that's why I like to promote controlling the um controlling the tower moment as best you can okay as best you can all right let's get one card here for the fourth stage or week four I kind of like that I'm saying this in stages now but still we are talking about the month ahead so I really feel like that's when maybe for some of you 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 could already be to this point right now but you're hearing this message because you know there's more stages that you need to go through, right? Always be open-minded when you're listening to these messages. It, Like I said, it's not going to come right down to a month or a week, specifically, I don't think. Um, but for some people, it certainly can. Five of Swords, again, you can't be, you can't be right all the time. Oh, so... Is that maybe going to be the struggle here? I'm going to say it. And this is not a victim shame. But, you know, usually at times with our friends, with our loved ones, with our family, with our partners, you know, sometimes we give as good as we get, right? Mm, I don't know if I said that quite right. But, you know, we have to take some ownership in it. Now, if you are an abused person, then that's a different story. And maybe this card isn't applying to you right here, okay? This message in particular isn't applying. We're still on the, you know what, you can control the tower. But here you can't be right all of the time. And maybe that is something that you need to come to terms with. Is that while I may not have been the main perpetrator and aggressor in this, if that's what it was, um, but again, in any area of your life, then, you know, I may have to take a little ownership to this. And maybe that is what will help to keep this tower moment 
controlled, okay? But let me get a tarot. Pile two, let's see here, what do we have? This could be like some soul searching, I wanna say. The eight of pumpkins, yeah. I feel like they're just giving you a message of, you know what? Moving through this tower moment where everything kind of needs to burn down, all right? It, it can be hard work. Recognizing your part in something can be hard work. We don't want to do it. We want to keep it pushed down because, you know, it's our ego. We don't want to take blame in any way, even if it's just one small little piece. Um, but the but the thing about this message here is you're going to have to do that, all right? So just keep that in mind as you're moving forward. Now, I'm also going to get two more because two more oracles here now because we want to look at what... What are the possibilities for November, maybe, as you're working through this, right? As you're getting to the end of the fourth stage. And this is the Tarot Familiar deck. So maybe this is a spirit animal, okay, that you might want to work with. We have Dragonfly. Maybe a Dragonfly will just mean something to you. But I'm going to read from the book because I want it to be right. <laughs> I mean, to me, dragonflies are change, right? Dragonflies can be new beginnings, new ways of thinking about things. And I can see how that could tie into here as next step. But again, we're going to look for air here. And what is it? Number seven? Yes, dragonfly. This card may bring you the gift of light the gift of a lightness of spirit or a hint that it is time to work with the magic of the air. It might predict swift travel or the winds of change. It could serve as a reminder that no matter how weak or fragile you feel, you are strong enough to survive the storms that life throws at you. Like the air, magic is everywhere around you. It might be easier to grasp earth or play with water or fire, but air is vital, powerful, and like the dainty dragonfly, much stronger than it seems. Reach inside for your own inner strength or use some air magic to help you find your way. I feel like this takes a lot of inner strength, right? So I love that message moving forward. Let's get another and this may be by working through all of this is you come to this realization right I'm stronger I can work through this you know I've escaped whatever or whoever this big bad wolf was let's get another card here black cat oh we have another we have another familiar fortune meets opportunity hmm so for some of you, does this mean that by moving through this, moving past this, you're, you know, it's like preparedness meets opportunity, right? Are you going to have a new opportunity in your life somewhere, Pile 2? Is it going to bring maybe, like I said, back here, some new people in? Again, whatever this situation, if you're dealing with work, maybe it would be a new work opportunity. Um, if you're job hunting, it may bring a new opportunity for you to apply to, right? It's, it's that kind of thing. So out of this comes the good because a new opportunity is going to come in. One last card before we go is this one. I always just like to flip it over. Could it be a message? Could it be um, a prediction? Could it just be advice and guidance? It's the vegetable garden. Number 41 or number five could be important to you. And it's time to check in with and reflect on the seeds you have planted. Ooh, so as you've been moving along with this new beginning, have you, okay, or rather you should be planting those seeds, right? I talk about it, new and full moon readings, full moons letting go, new moons bringing in what serves you, planting the seeds. I do it every month. There's a different moon energy each month for both, okay? So maybe as you've been moving through this, you have been, you know, writing down your goals or speaking them aloud or man trying to manifest them in some way okay 
And they want you to go back. Don't forget to go back and look at some of those things that you've planted. Maybe here with your friends, right? Yeah. Maybe up here with wanting to bring that balance and that peace and harmony and equality back in, you said, this is what I want in my life. Well, that's planting a seed. So I guess they just don't want you to forget about those seeds that you've planted. As you're moving forward here, keep those in mind. Okay, pile two, that is your reading. If you enjoyed this, please throw me that thumbs up, a like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. For my new subscribers, hello and welcome. For my regulars that come back and watch video after video and reading after reading, thank you for your support and hello to you. And I will see you in maybe another pile here or in one of my other readings. Thank you. Hi to those of you who chose pile three, this card or this, I called it the uh, orangish yellow or yellowish orange uh, or a cluster crystal. That's the tongue twister. Um, I'm just going to set that there and I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to flip it at the end. It could be more advice, guidance, prediction, or it could go right along with the reading. Who knows? I'm going to set it over here and we'll find out at the end. So pile three, we are doing the eyeball spread here. And I got this out of my zombie tarot deck. All right, because we're putting our eyeballs onto the current month, which is October. We're talking about October energy here. We're also going to turn our eyeballs back around to maybe a bit of September. And we're going to look further into November a bit. So Stay with me here. We're going to be doing tarot, and then at the end, we'll be pulling the uh, oracle cards, okay? So, we want to start first with, and it's been very interesting, with the previous month's energy. So, in September, you know, maybe what were you up to? What energy was in and around you? Did you start thinking about something? Start doing something? Were you in the middle of something? We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, I like that. So maybe was there something that had you uh, fired up in the month of September that maybe had you wanting to, to, to shoot out, to take off, to take some sort of action, inspired action even? Was there something maybe you were feeling a bit impulsive about back in the month of uh, September? I'm going to pull tarot to clarify here in a minute, but let's also get a look at the present, the current month, overall energy. Okay, what's coming up? Energy. We have the four of hazards, or in this case, that is the four of pentacles. Okay, well, I like the four of pentacles, but here's the thing. Oh, very interesting. So back here, I felt like you were all fired up, getting ready to get out there, to take the action, to go for it, to move. And then here, I feel this month, the brakes are coming on. Let's see if we can figure out why. Because sometimes here with the four, it's it's hanging on too tightly. Or in this case, if I'm looking at this, it's like, I don't know. I'm just seeing it like you want to get in and you you want to get in and, and hoard here. You want to keep what's yours. All right. So let me pull some tarot for clarification. So let's get one for the Knight of Wands for that September energy. And then we're going to look at each week or as I've been saying as a pile two, each stage, because you have to remember here, pile three, that not everything is going to happen in this month. Some things take a little bit longer and that's okay. You work through it as you work through it. But for all intents, okay, temperance, but for all intents and purposes, we are um, going with the weeks here. Okay. So that's the way I'll describe it. Here we go. Okay, okay, this is interesting. C because we have temperance here, and temperance is like trying to find balance, harmony, peace, stability even in your life, right? It's that balance, it's flow, where things just flow instead of, you know, oh, um, what am I trying to think of? Something that you go on like a ride and it, it's very jerky, right? It's like stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Well, that could be traffic in, in Toronto <laughs> any given day of the week. So maybe for some of you, you'll relate to that. But it's, yeah, that stop, start. You, you want things in flow. And you really 
were passionate about making this happen. That was your past energy, right? Like I feel like you really realized I need to start doing something to bring this into my life. But I feel like we've moved into October here a little bit and it's now kind of like, oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Let's find out why you're hanging on a second with this four of hazards. Because that's what it feels like. It's like, no, no. I, I. Is it because you feel like you'd need to give too much of yourself in order for that to happen? Maybe pile three. Let's look. The hermit. Yeah. There is just something that has made you want to halt this. Okay. Okay. But here it is. Is it because you've got all excited about it? Because that's what I think of with the Knight of Wands. You were like raring to go to, to, to bring this balance into your life, right? To, you know, to just have, I want to, it's almost like having control, but in a balanced flowing way. And you were all excited. And, and now we're moving into October here and you've put on the brakes but with the Hermit card, I almost feel like you've put on the brakes because you realize it's it's going to take a little soul searching, okay? It's going to take um, you going within, we can call it, uh, to find out what what exactly do I mean by this? I know I want it, but what is that for me? Because this is different for everyone, right? Some people can be running the roads 24 hours a day and that's their balance, okay? Not me, <laughs> but some people can, okay? Um, I would always question if they're really balanced, but you know what? It's it what works for their life. They just could be really high energy, okay? Uh but here with the hermit, I feel like you you want it to go and then you've stopped because you realize, now, if I'm going to do this, I'm doing it right. And I'm doing it right from the very beginning. Okay, so whatever this is in your life, you want to do it right from the very beginning. You want to figure out your potion. You want to figure out what potion you need to be drinking, right? You need to figure out, uh, I need a game plan here. First, I take off the, the top of the pumpkin. Then I scoop out all the, well, those are brains, but... <laughs> I scoop out all the seedy brains and whatever, and then I can carve it, right? I just can't jump to carving it because I need to get rid of the insides and I need to make a hole for myself to use to carve it and to clean it out. So it's almost like you realizing, ah, there are steps to this and I need to figure out what those steps are for me. Okay. I feel like that's your energy. All right. And... And if it's not, that it's the energy that spirit is. You always have to think of it that way too, right? That's the energy spirit wants you to, um, to, to, to follow because that's where you will see the success in the end is not trying to rush through it here like the Knight of Wands, but taking your time like the professor, okay? Trying different potions, different recipes, different lists, different steps to make something happen, right? Getting the notepad and pen out even. Could it be taking courses? Possibly. All right, week one. Let's take a look here for October. Page of potions. So funny, I was talking about potions. Yeah, the page of potions is in this deck. The I have to find out what potions is. Oh, good Lord. Let me think. Let me think. What the heck are the potions? Wands. There he is, the little page. They want you to come back. Pages are the curious ones. Pages are the ones that want to learn. Okay, pages are the ones with new ideas. They believe in new beginnings, exploring this, exploring that, trying things different ways. And with the page of wands, it again is very fiery and passionate. So they want you to keep the fire and passion here. Okay, um, and you may feel that you may feel like, oh, so does this mean I need to shut down all this, this passion? And no, not at all. An inspiration. You keep it. You just need to think of the ways that you're going to do it, right? Let's get a tarot with that.
yeah, that I love this. The Hanged Man, again. What they're doing is, okay, I love this for you, Pile 3. It's like, there's all this excited, fiery energy here and here. But even spirit is like pulling that energy and they want you to control it. They want you to be, well, temperance, to have balance with it, right? They want you to hermit, to slow it down. Really think about it here. Look at it from all different angles. These new ideas that you have as the Page of Wands, right? Um, is it something that, you know, you need to discover about yourself? Um, do you actually believe you have limitless possibility to get out there and do, or in this case, find the balance in your life? I, again, you'll understand in whatever area of your life this is, right? What are those new inspirations and ideas? But every one of them, in order for this to work, I want to say you need to Go within, figure it out, figure out the plan even, okay? And you need to look at everything. Hangman, 360. Imagine that rope and it just allows you to go around and around so you can see everything from every angle. I feel like this is very important. Okay, so they want you to have the fire and the passion. They just want it slowed down okay let's look at week two or the second step because this may not happen all in one week okay you know our time and divine timing two different things so it will take as long as it needs to take the queen of wands more wands energy more fire okay so um, I'm going to pull a tarot with that. Yeah, they want you to be determined about this. They want you to be confident that you can do it. Okay, they want you to take action and do it. To be courageous and confident enough to do it. Okay. And again, I said something about you feel maybe you slowed down because it'll be different for different people, but you slow down because... You, you feel like you might need to give too much of yourself away here. And there, and the Queen of Wands is saying, no, no, my dear. <laughs> my dears. Um, no, y you just need to have the courage and the confidence to do this, okay? You can do it. And you can do it in a controlled way. I talked a lot about control, um, but more like control burn back in pile too, but interesting. We have the Knight of Bats or the Knight of Swords. Okay, so now we have the Knight coming in here along with this Queen of Wands who's very, very much about, you know what? You keep that passion. You you keep the determination, okay? You need to be courageous and confident, but you also need, this is a quick mover, but I don't feel like that's what I wanna say about him. I wanna say about this Knight of Swords is taking the action, right? To, to figure it out, taking action to figure it out, getting clear about what that temperance balance really means in your life, okay? You need to figure it out. This is about thoughts. You can't act too quickly here, okay? You can't act too quickly. You need to be very clear in your ambition. You need to be very clear about what it is that you're driven to succeed at here, which is finding balance, peace, harmony in your life. So they just want to keep you. Again, they're giving you another fire energy. And even though we may want to say, move quickly, I feel like it's move quickly to these two things here to get very, very clear about what your goal is. Okay, we need clarity, and that is swords energy. Whew. All right, let's go on to the third week, or we can call it the um, third step here, the third stage. Oh, I'm loving this for you. I wonder if there's a bunch of fire signs. If you know if you're a fire sign, put it in the comments because sometimes I wonder when you know there's all this energy. Um, and I know that, you know, not all fire signs are full of energy, but I do find, it, look, another wands coming out that, you know, are you someone who is that person that just likes to go, okay? And they're saying we need you to slow it down a little bit. But look at here, the three of wands, that's after you've made the plan. That's after you've figured it out and you've become really, really clear about it. 
Now you start moving. The Three of Wands is, okay, the plan's made. Now I'm just waiting. See here, there is a ship and like what some of the other cards, you know what, I'm waiting for my ship to come in or I'm waiting, well, for my ship to come in so that I can go back out on it. Um, also, maybe that ship's bringing something into you that you need to move forward. But look at that owl up there. That's the wisdom that's being clear in thought in mind, okay? This card just popped out and that is the Fool card. I love it with the Three of Wands. This is you, Pile Three, um, setting out on a new adventure or a new beginning in your life to have more of this balance, peace, harmony, okay? You know it, you know you want to do it, and again, in whatever area, and, and this is them saying, once you make the plan and you're clear about how you're going to achieve this, now you're going to head out on your new start. Let's see what week four brings, okay, or the fourth stage. Oh, I love this for you. And also for some of you, I just want to say, you may be, even as you're watching this, you may be in this stage. You could be at this stage already. You could be at different stages of this. Always remember that with a reading as well, not just mine, but even others, that it doesn't mean um, that this isn't already happening. Uh, and it may not be something that happens or that you even really start to take action on until later in the month, okay? And it may take you the whole month of October and into November even to just get this started, right? Don't worry about the time. There is no rush. There is no rush here. Five of Cups. Spilled tea isn't the end of the world. Hmm. I like that. I just want to see in what context here they've got this Five of Cups. Because this almost feels like there could be a little setback where, you know, you, you, you were, you're clear, you're ready, and you start. And maybe it doesn't start off quite the way you expect it. And you start to feel, well, what the heck? You know, I, I, I spent the time. I went within. I, I looked at everything. I got clear. I was ready to head out. And now something has happened. It's like the other shoe dropped. But here's the thing. Five cups. One, two, three, four, five. Three of them may have spilled, but there's two that are still full here. Okay? That means that this is still possible. Everything hasn't ended. There's been a hiccup. Something has fell off the cart. Something has spilled over onto the rug. But the rug can be cleaned. Okay? And you can get those other two cups back around there and have a drink, okay? Like, don't worry, but I do want to get a little more about that. I think it's just the message of there can be setbacks, so just be prepared for that, okay? The Ten of Pumpkins. I love it. Be prepared that there could be setbacks on the way on the way to you having everything that it is that you want it, which is this energy of temperance in your life. The Ten of Pumpkins is about achieving what it is you went after, what goal it is that you went after, what plan it is that you made, that you slow and steady, which I feel they're really slowing you down here, start at working towards it, and you will reach it in the end, okay? Pile three, don't worry about the one or two or three setbacks that you may experience. We're human beings in a human world and in the 3D, and that's what happens, okay? Um, so just be prepared. Probably gonna have some setbacks, but that doesn't mean that you give up, okay? You keep going because you want this. You just keep remembering that. Now, let's look into November. Okay, so you're kind of working through all of this. Um, and again, whatever month it is that, that uh, you find this and you just go out to the month after. Um, so if you see this reading in November, then this would be December, okay? Um, so let's look at the following month for all intents and purposes. We're talking November here. This is the, tar this is the Witch's Familiar deck. Uh, made by the woman who created the, um, oh, Everyday Witch Tarot, okay? So, love this. This could be a spirit animal for you, too. Water, 
to the sea turtle. Now I have been reading from the book just because um, I want to find out about the turtle. What is it that we need to know about this turtle, right? Okay, if you have been feeling torn between two worlds, this card may be telling you that you don't have to choose between them. Look for ways to have the best of both, even if one has to be more dominant. Don't let anyone else make these choices for you. I feel like that's the temperance, right? You know what that balance is in your life. It may not be like I said, I know people that run ragged. To me, that doesn't feel like balance, but it does to them. Okay, so if people try to come in telling you, you know, this, that, or the other, that you're not doing it right in some way, no, no. I just want to say sea turtles, like, don't they live for like hundreds of years? I feel like you've got the wisdom to know here, okay? The message, sea turtles are slow, but they are strong. And haven't we been talking about slowing down? Although they must face, or, or sorry, although they must surface to breathe, they can survive for hours underwater. They take a long time to mature and often migrate for long distances, moving through sometimes treacherous waters right? There's going to be some, some times of, of upset, okay? The sea turtle's message is to be tough but flexible. You are a survivor. There is no rush. I've been saying this. Take your time to figure out where you're going and what you want to do or what you want in your life. That card couldn't have been more perfect, okay? So that's something to keep in mind as well here. Um, you may wanna learn more about the sea turtle. I just learned something about them right there. Now let's just get another, another oracle here. Got all my Halloween decks out. I love to use them, so we will utilize them in every reading. Authenticity, invisibility, authenticity. This is about you being your true self, okay? Or being authentic. And if we're in context to this reading, this could just be a message for someone who, where you need to take, you need to get rid of the mask. You need to come out of the dark and start not being invisible, but being totally visible and being your true authentic self. That may be the one message you hear in this pile and it means something to you. And you were asking spirit about that. It's funny how this works, but I feel here is your, your soul, your true authentic being needs the balance and we our spirit selves right we should honor that okay your true soul your true you know part of divine wants for you to be happy and balanced in flow going with the flow right they don't want you rushing around and and not taking time, I want to say for you, okay? So that's just another message moving forward. Now, one last thing, we have this card, which may or may not tie in, I don't know. Coming of darkness. All the light is dimming, life is withering at the core. Are you ready? Well, I love this because this is coming, I believe this is from the Mabin deck, okay, which is like the, the fall deck, right? Fall equinox, um, which was in September the 22nd, uh, first day of fall. And, you know, we're getting, we're coming into winter, okay? And I like that because everything goes dormant. We're talking, what was it here? This was hanged man. Oh, the hermit. Everything goes dormant. Everything starts to go within. Things die off. There needs to be things in your life that are going to have to die off in order for you to bring in this balance, peace, harmony, etc. Okay? And the question is, are you ready? Because some things will need to be let go of in order for you to have this in your life. And maybe that's where you get some spilled cups here, okay? Because this is the stuff that needs to be let go of.
Pile 3, I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit that like button. I've been talking about that for my channel I did throughout the month of September. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, if you are one of my regular watchers, thank you for your support and being here. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm trying to get up around that 600 mark now. I'm growing my channel slow but steady, Pile 3. And uh, if I see you in another pile, that's great. If I see you in the next reading, I can't wait. Thank you so much.